episode I showed you all how the Islamic history contains beheadings and the teachings of chopping people's heads off and then cooking it and eating it. Obviously I've been making this claim for over a year now. I came on the Bolt report with the Andrew Bolt and I made that claim and the ABC turned around and said Imam Tawhidi's statements are divisive, they're playing crazy and that you know what's the evidence for all of this? What is the evidence that Islam alongside the beheadings has monkey teachings as I would call them? And uh, I'd like to show you exactly what I referred to yesterday when I showed you the images of two heads in a pot and I said that this was the actual history of Islam and it's happening today with ISIS and what's going on I'd like to show you because these people have denied uh, these occurrences and they claim that they are not true the Australian National Imams Council and other several uh, Imams even from the Shia faith it's not a matter of Sunni Shia I'm not here to be a sectarian person this is a historical fact did a person in history who was the companion of Prophet Muhammad did he have his head chopped off because he refused to collect taxation money for the Islamic Caliph or did this not happen and was his head chopped off by the Caliph by the orders of the Caliph all right peace of Christ to all as we see here let me introduce to you mr. Imam Tawhidi as he called himself in Facebook I'm not sure if this is his real name and supposedly he is an imam of a mosque in Australia as I, I understand now he considered himself as a Muslim reformer quote and quote uh, this person trying to prove to the media and look how funny the argument the one who is trying to prove him wrong is the ABC <laughs> I mean isn't it funny a Muslim trying to convince you that we kill in the name of Allah ABC say no you are wrong a Muslim a cleric in his mosque he is like this, this guy is being honest you see when you are honest when you are honest for one time in your life they accuse you of lying when you lie all day long all your life they take your side now this person he is upset that in the history of Islam there is such a thing a guy who got killed and even they chop his head and even they ate him but I don't know really what to say to you mr. Uh, Tawhidi didn't your prophet do the same isn't it your prophet who said I mean uh, uh, Khalid ibn Walid he is uh, somehow he is the cousin of Muhammad actually the two grandmother of Muhammad they are the cousins of Khalid ibn Walid and then Muhammad himself he married a woman she is uh, from the from the from the women of Khalid ibn Walid uh, family and he is talking about this guy who killed a Muslim and he ate his head and he raped his wife and he is a very well-known hero in the history of Islam and as you said he is considered as a cousin for Muhammad but I find it kind of weird that mr. Uh, uh, Tawhidi he is mentioning to that to us how upset he is from what this guy he said but he didn't want to tell us that Muhammad you know why you want to upset from a man doing that if you're a prophet he ordered every Muslim including himself that this is his message and this is his uh, strategy that he wanna fight and kill anyone who don't believe in him so if you are complaining that this guy he was killed for not paying tax is that his order or this is the order of Muhammad as you see it's in the front of your eyes and you know better supposedly you are a scholar those people who refuse to pay the cat they should be killed 
So why you are blaming this man? As you see, the one is talking here is your prophet. And Khalid al-Walid is just doing the order of his prophet. It is justified to kill anyone in Islam if he don't pay tax, if he don't pray to the Qibla, if he don't practice a prayer, uh, uh, if he don't uh, do any of those things. Read with me. <coughs> I hope you guys, you will show him this video and you will share it with him. And he is more than welcome to uh, uh, to talk to me. And if we can have a nice conversation, he is more, you know, I respect him. At least he's more, you know, like not like the, the rest of the Muslims who uh, uh, promote lies and you know at least this guy trying to be honest but uh, maybe I need to open his eyes to be more honest and to say things as it is what is going to stop Muhammad from killing people exactly what is required in Islam and by Muhammad so you will not be killed all those hadith as you see and by the way I can show you this is from the Shia source too it's the same even even uh, uh, Ali, who is almost worshipped by the Shia, he burned people alive. So, I don't understand why you don't tell people that this is a guy who is just doing the order of Muhammad and the real criminal is not Khad al-Walid. It is Muhammad. Do you see it? All those things like what 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 will stop Muhammad from killing you exactly? What will stop you? Stop him? You have to pray. You have to say the Shahada. Testify that Allah is God and Muhammad is his prophet. You have to do the prayer and you have to pay the zakat. And you have to face the qibla and you have to slaughter as we slaughter and you have to eat as we eat. And then and only then your blood and your property is secured so when Khadim Walid he killed this man for not paying uh, or refused to collect the the zakat he is just doing the order of Muhammad so why are you upset so I want to say you are honest but in the same time I see here like there is some kind of game is playing you don't want to say that the really criminal is not Khalid the real criminal is Muhammad. If you don't do any <coughs> any of those things, those things in the front of us in the screen, you will be killed. You have to pray as he pray. You have to face the, the Kaaba, which means if you pray without facing the Qibla, they will kill you still. You have to eat as he eat, and you have to pay the zakat. So why are you upset from? This Khalid. Let us hear what he want to say more, so we can learn about what he's trying to prove to us. Undertaken by the hands of Khalid ibn Walid, who the majority of Muslims revere, he's seen as the sword of God, the sword of justice. Khalid ibn Walid. Did this happen or did it not happen? Let's take a look. I have here with me a bunch of scans from Islam's most authentic and greatest scholars. All, each each uh, clip represents a book. All right. Let us stop here. <clears throat> you can watch this video in his Facebook. However, you know, uh, teaching, eating people, you know, he will say to you that this guy, he, uh, 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 he, uh, he killed a man. I have now he cooked him. it for you over at least 10 <coughs> giant scholars within the history of Islam prove me right when they narrated this issue. And I would slowly <coughs> like to uh, go through this matter with you so you can see exactly what happened. What is Imam Tawhidi warning from? What is going on? And if there's an Imam who wishes to uh, deny this fact and wishes to accuse me of lying, that this did not happen and that these are all fake and that I am a fake give me a month's time so I can order in the real books just like how I ordered in the Bukhari 
and then we can sit face to face. My friend, you do not need to order any book. They are online. You can show them online and I can help you. And the one who accusing me, accusing you to, to be a liar, he is just because he's a hypocrite uh, liar himself. This is uh, a TV host a program, Islamic program in Egypt. And this guy who is a Muslim reformer too, he is saying to him, how we can fight terrorism if this is what we teach in our schools? The host in the TV, he said, well, what, what, do you, what are you talking about? What we teach? Read for us. And then the guy, he did read for him. This is what we teach our kids. The, the, the host, he said to him, uh, you mean this is like before, uh, before when Islam is spread by sword. The guy, he said, no, 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 this is today. This is the book of school today. When, when we teach them this in a school, they don't, they cannot handle the civil, civil life. This is what they teach them in school. They are, they are teaching us today to live the same as people who died uh, uh, 1400 years ago. And they force us to practice, otherwise we will not be Muslims. As they called me, because I don't want to be a Sunni or Shia, so I am a Kafir. However, he says to you in this uh, in this uh, video that they are teaching that you can eat anyone who is apostate from Islam. See what they are saying. It's lawful to eat a human being in the case of emergency without, without cooking it or without uh, uh, doing barbecue. And if you have to eat and you need to eat, you can kill an apostate, a Muslim apostate, and kill him and eat him. The horse is saying to him, you mean he like he to eat, he can kill an, an, a human being and eat him? He said, yeah. <laughs> this guy is saying, this is what they teach in our school in Lazar University, the highest university of Islam in the world. He said, yeah, this is the book in front of me. He is, he is reading the name for him, the printing, the date, etc. When this book is printed in the school and the, and the university, and even the, there is the stamp of the university on it. And this is for high school, last year of high school in this university. Because this university starts like, you know, from early age all the way to, to get bachelor and even master and PhD. So you can join from high school. Page number 256 this year. This is a printed this year. The book name is al -Iqna. So they are teaching in their schools until now that you can eat a human being. Not the history of Islam. This is not the history of Islam. In the book of Al Bidayah and Nihayah, this poor guy he is trying to find out where he can find them. He needs to buy the books. You do not need to buy the books. It's here, it's in the front of your eyes. All the Muslims they can read. That's Muslims they always kill each other and even eat each other, not only they eat their enemies. Look what it says here. Faqala Malik. So he, he cut his head and he put it between two rocks and he cooked it on a pot and he ate from it. This is the book of Ibn Kathir, Al Bidayah wa Nihayah, volume number uh, 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 9, 
and this is the page number page number 462 to 463 as you see in the front of your eyes so you know when a Muslim he says this is not true he is lying to who Uh, Khalid bin Walid, he killed people just because we, you know, people they get excited when they converted to Islam. So they said we became Sabi and Sabi and, and Muhammad he killed them for saying that. Why? Because many they were accusing Muhammad that he is a Sabi and not there's nothing it's called Islam. So they said we are we became Sabi and we became Sabi and so he killed them, he slaughtered them. And for sure they were forced to convert to Islam and still he killed them but this is not what only Ibn al-Walid he did this is what Muhammad he did what about Bani al-Mustaliq how Muhammad what do you say of Muhammad attacking people who have no idea why Muhammad he attacked them for no reason and then he took their daughters as sex slave and he took one of them as Juriya as you see here this tribe was doing nothing to Muhammad they never harm Muhammad they never fight Muhammad and he attacked them when they were busy feeding their cattle he's a thief as simple as that Muhammad is a thief he's a gang leader he was spying at those people until they get busy there's nobody nobody to protect them those peaceful people they are just doing their daily life feeding their cattle they are not in the stage of war they are not prepared to any attack etc and then Muhammad he attacked them where their cattle drinking water so their fighter were killed and the survivor ie women and children which means they killed all the men were taken the prisoners on that day Muhammad he took Juria and she became his sex slave So why you are upset from Ibn, uh, Ibn Walid? He is not a prophet. He is just a soldier for Muhammad. He do what Muhammad says and he do what Muhammad did. So to say to me, I am upset from Ibn Walid, but you don't want to be upset from Muhammad and his God. I, I find it kind of funny. I mean, you have to be honest here. Why you didn't say that this is Islam? This is not Khalid Ibn Walid. What about the Quran saying it clearly that like you know he is saying that in Islam in the history of Islam there's a chopping forehead cutting hands there's a crucifixion not only chopping heads chapter 5 verse number 33 Muhammad he ordered to cut the hands from opposite directions and legs and crucify people and not only that this person Muhammad he enjoy torture this is a chapter 5 verse number 33 and this is the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan it says here that when a bunch of guys who converted to Islam look like they've been forced to convert to Islam they have no choice so at night they gave their animal to Muhammad at night they decide to run away in order to get back their animals they killed the shepherd and they run away so Muhammad he sent his men after them they got them and look what Muhammad he did the messenger of Allah give him peace give him peace order that they be given a flock of camels and shepherd and commanded them to sit with them but those are their camels <laughs> with uh, 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 and to drink from camel urine Muhammad anyone he convert to Islam he ordered him to drink milk and camel urine enjoy it and then those guys they took off the camels according to the Muslim stories and they killed the shepherd and they ran away so Muhammad he sent after them and they were captured let me put the screen up so Muhammad sent after them and he captured actually it is not him it is a bunch of guys and he cut off their hands it's not him it's them this is a wrong, wrong wrong translation 
and he cut off their hands and feet and gogged their eyes. Like what? The Quran says that kill the one who kill. The Torah says kill the one who kill. <laughs> but there is no religion in the world saying if somebody is a criminal, you play with their body and you torture them. You see, Muhammad in different verse, he said eye for an eye. He's trying to copy Moses, but those guys did not damage the eyes of the shepherd. So look what he did. They killed the shepherd, Muhammad, he cut them, he cut their feet, he cut their hands, he crucified them, and he put nails after he heated with fire in their eyes. So which one is more ugly, the guy who killed a dead a man and he ate him when he is dead, or a guy who is torturing people when they are alive? For sure, until they die. So I find it kind of weird that you are talking about the history of Islam, but until now I did not hear you speaking against Muhammad and his crimes. So if you guys speak to this guy, ask him, a Christian prince, he asks you, how come you don't want to say that Muhammad was the biggest criminal? And how you can reform Islam without reforming the Quran, which means throwing the Quran away. We are reading Quran, we are not reading Hadith. How you can reform Quran if this is supposedly the word of Allah and Allah is God? Are you going to reform Allah? That is a big question, I leave it for him. Say hello to him, at least he is more honest than the rest, but still there is a big call he needs to answer. Why you don't say the truth that Muhammad is the biggest criminal and Allah is a fake, false, satanic God. I hope and I pray that this gentleman, he will see the truth and will, the truth will set him free. Feel free to download my video and if this gentleman, he would like to contact me, Feel free to contact me. You see in the in, in the screen there, it says good to contact me. And then you will see the link in the screen. So feel free to contact me there, Mr. Imam Tawhidi. I will be happy to have some nice conversation with you. Maybe in your Facebook, I don't mind, or Skype. It doesn't matter. God bless everyone. Download the video, share it, and let us do the good work for the truth. And the truth will set us free. God bless you.